So I'm launching a mini SaaS to drive um, traffic to Explore sites. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how I thought of this idea. Plus, I'm going to be building it out so that you guys can also use this knowledge to get more traffic and customers for your own product. So let's get started. So basically, I was brainstorming ideas to get more traffic to Explore Insights. And one of the ideas I thought of while I was playing around with the marketing tool generator in Explore Insights is to create a resource hub. The idea is creating a site which has a list of how companies got their first couple of users because I think that's a major pain point for a lot of people that are building their software. So basically, this is the idea that I thought of um, that was generated in Explore Insights. And then the way that I validated it is I went to Reddit and I just searched first user or first core users and I came up with this thread and there were a few comments. So this kind of validated the idea. And then I also searched on Google for do people even care about this? And that was all the validation I need. Then I just went over and bought the domain my first users and then I cloned the code base in Next.js. So this is like a React code base we'll be using to deploy this app, right? So the inspiration for the product is going to be the site called marketingexamples.com. So it's basically a list of marketing examples that you can use for your own product. I like that the design is simple, it's super useful, and it has around 200,000 visitors a month. So it's pretty good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screenshot this, this uh, page and I'm going to be putting it inside Claude. So basically I put in Claude and I just say, please generate this design in for Next.js, something like that. So you do that um, and then, yeah, I'm hosting it on Vercel by the way. So the reason I like Vercel is I, I only primarily do it for React apps and basic HTML apps, but it's pretty easy to set up. So I'm gonna set up the domain right now, myfirstusers.com, that's the domain name just the, and then you need to set the A record and the C name. So you just copy this and I use Namecheap. So in Namecheap, you just set the A record and the C name. All right, that's good. And then you can delete the rest of this. Don't need this. Oops. Yeah, so now everything is set and our domain should be good now. And let's see what our progress with Claude is so it's giving me it's giving me this code let's just copy and paste it and see how it looks i'm not that advanced with that to be honest i've only done like a few hours of programming in it but all you need these days is just copy and paste it. i'm just copy and paste this here all right i think we need to add, actually download some okay components card all right so we're gonna create this folder components ui and create this card card.js I guess this is like the the individual card. Yeah, honestly, I'm probably making a lot of like newbie mistakes, but I don't know like React or Next.js at all. This is like super beginner friendly. Okay, let's see. So in cursor, like if you have an error and it requires a bunch of files, what you can do is like Control or Command I and just say my file is at components slash slash UI. Just do that, and sometimes this will help with debugging it. Yeah, it fixed it. I think. Let's see. Did it actually fix it? Nope. All right. So I guess we need this um, shad cn ui library. So yeah, we just do this npx install. Let's see. So the chat at the right hand side is pretty useful. You can do control l and it'll open this chat up and you can like debug stuff pretty fast. And it tells you like all the stuff to copy and paste too. So I just like copy and paste this install command to get this library installed. And then I copy and paste this command to the components of this card component. I'm not really sure what that even does, but yeah, let's see if it works. Okay, so it worked, that's pretty good. So yeah, like the UI is pretty crappy. So let's see if we can fix it. So the thing is, you don't wanna like copy it exactly, but yeah, you want you like just take parts of it that you like and particular like with the design and UX. So I really like how like when you click on it, it opens up this model. So I think this is a really smooth user experience. So I'll probably uh, try to mirror that experience as well. And then I like how it's very colorful. So there's like a lot of padding. There's a lot of colors. The cards, it's like this, the headline is on, on top of a opaque background, which I really like. It's just like really clear to um, understand. That's like my thought process, which is just understand what you like about the page. And then what you can do is in your design, you can go say, change the UI so that there is more padding. And then what else? Let's see, improve the design by 10X. Sometimes I've noticed that if you put this command, it like, it just like makes it look better. Yeah, let's stick with that. Also, you don't want to give it too much commands because it won't 
follow all the commands they give it. What I like to do is just give it two, two or three commands and then based off of those, if it follows those, then I give more. So that's been like what I've been, and then what you can do is just click apply and this will apply all the changes and you don't even have to code. So it's pretty fast, click accept, refresh, and let's see what it does. So yeah, it, I mean, it improved it. I don't like the fact that it's like dark mode. So I can tell it to just do, do not use dark mode, have at least 20% padding from the edges. Let, let's see if this does it. And then in, in Claude, so I don't think you can actually give cursor an image right now. So like a lot of it is just like giving it text commands. So what I'd like to do is in Claude, we, um, just you can open up a new chat and paste it, right? So this is my current code. This is my current, make it look more like my design. You just give it your code and then what you can do is you can, um, just screenshot what you want. So you screenshot this, and then it's here and it will at least make it look more like your screenshot. Sometimes it's not perfect, but it's better than having to do it manually. Yeah, we're just gonna wait until this is done, but we can see what the cursor tried to do. So just refresh the page. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely a lot better. Um, like this is not too shabby for something that we did in 10 minutes. Still like the, there's not enough padding, I think on the left and right, but it's not bad, it's not bad. We can try and copy and paste and see if this works better um, or looks better. Yeah, to be honest, I like the other one better, this one. And then, okay, so anyways, we'll just stick with this. I think if I played around with the design for an hour or two, I could definitely make it look a lot better, but this is passable. So now the thing that we need to do is just getting this uh, click where it opens up this new card. What I would do for that is this probably requires setting up another page. So what we can do is we can just do Control I and then tell it when I click on the card, it should open up a model. So for example, so example is when I click on, it should open slash on the same page as a pop-up model. Yeah, so just do that. So that's the only main functionality that we need, which is like when you click on it, it opens this. And then I just remember like the other thing we probably need is like creating a sitemap for all this. So sitemap being having all the pages laid out for Google. So you can see that there's like uh, hundreds or thousands of pages. And if you have it all like in this little page, it helps index and rank on Google a lot better. So that's the other thing that we need, but I'll probably do that in a different command. So you can see that it'll tell you what it did. Currently, let's modify the code to add this. Okay, whatever. I usually don't, honestly don't even read it. I just click accept and I just like refresh the page if it works, but if it doesn't, then we gotta fix it. So yeah, like I just like copy and paste. Honestly, this is probably not a great programming way to work, just copy and pasting, but I don't know, it's working. So yeah, it's good enough. Okay, so let's see. Oh, also, let's see if the domain's set up now. So, yo, my first users, and okay, our, our site's up. That's pretty good. All right, so let's see. All right, set pages. All right, let's see. Does this fix it? All right, the click is not working, but... Oh, it is working. Wow, nice. So, the the the, the small thing is that when you click on this page, it it's op opens up the actual link. <clears throat> so, we probably should mirror that, but the pop-up is working. So, yeah, it's, it's good enough. So, let's just push this to our code base. So I have this like command, which it automatically commits, but the, the context is too large. So I'm just gonna do it manually. So get add, get commit, change this, and get push. So just do this and it should update our domain pretty fast. Yeah, it's not a big deal that it doesn't open new URL. We can fix that later. Uh, and then the filters are not working. So I probably need to fix that. And then everything else is fine. Just go the filters is not working, fix it. Do that, and then let's see, refresh this. All right, so it's building right now, so it should be deployed in like a minute. So let's see, this one, all right, what are we doing? Okay, so we're trying to fix the filters. It did this, you just try and click apply and refresh and see if this works. All right, it's working, great. F filters are working. The only thing is like the, these aren't creating new pages, but I, I can probably fix that later, it's not a big deal. All right, so yeah, like one small thing is I just tell it to, to Prove the design by 10 x Sometimes it'll like surprise me and make a really good design, but <clears throat> it's a pretty low effort way to fix it. I have a meeting to go to in about one minute, so I'm gonna end the video here. Before I go, I'll also like see that the site is updated. Okay, yeah, so you see that it's updated and you can see how easy it is to go from like local to prod. Hopefully you guys found it useful and I will see you guys next time.